and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so we are finally starting with our c++ course so let's first start off with talking about what exactly is c++ c++ is a general purpose programming language that can be used to create high performance applications it was developed by Yeah, this guy, whose name I cannot really pronounce, as an extension to the C programming language. But you don't need to know C in order to start learning C++. But if you do know C++, it would be easier to learn C and also the other way around. So if you know C, it would also be easier to learn C++. Because in a sense, C++ is just C but it automates some things for you, such as memory management, and it also adds objects, which we'll be getting into later. Now, why C++? Because we have languages such as Java, C even, C Sharp, all of these languages. So why would we want to choose C++? Well, first of all, it's a very popular programming language and still used by millions of developers today. It can be used to develop applications on multiple platforms, so Windows, Linux, Android, all of these platforms. You get a really good salary if you decide to go into C++, with the average being about 100,000 US dollars yearly. And this was from Indeed.com in December of 2020. It has a ton of libraries. One of the reasons why I do love C++ is because if I ever want to do something, I can just go search up for a C++ library and I can use that library to make my code so much easier to write because I can just import that library and start using it. It has a massive community, so there is a lot of support available. Whether you get it on Stack Overflow or specialized C++ forums, there's a lot of support out there for C++. Now, what can you do with C++? Because C++ is so good with performance, game development is very, very, very popular with C++. You can also do some application development, of course, and some websites. I'm seeing some WebAssembly coming out, which will allow you to make websites with C++ even easier than it already is. You can do database manipulation, so you can connect two databases and you can modify those databases with C++. I do have a video on this if you want to watch it right now, but during this full course, I'll also remake that video and c plusify it a bit more. Media accessors, OS development, compilers, and a lot more. I'm not going to cover everything because you could do basically anything with C++, and that's the reason why it's general purpose. You can generally use it for anything. Now, what do you need to know in order to follow along with this course? Whilst it is not required, it is highly recommended that you know at least one other programming language, such as JavaScript, Java, C, C Sharp, even Python. Although Python is a little bit simple compared to C++, but even Python would be good, just so you can kind of get an idea of it. But if you don't know, you can still follow along without any problems. Just knowing an extra language could make learning C++ a lot easier. It can run basically on any hardware. So if you have a computer that's like 25 years old or something, you still be able to run on that without too much problems because of its high performance. And I will be using Linux. And that means I'll show you how to install it on Linux, how to do whatnot, everything on Linux. But what I do on Linux with 99% of the time work on all, all the other operating systems as well. So you don't have to worry about me using Linux and you may be using Windows or Mac or even FreeBSD or React OS or whatever you use. And that is all for the intro of learning C++. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and will follow along with my full C++ course. And I'll see you all again in the next tutorial.